This year, our Prime Minister, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, actioned several people-first policy decisions taken at the cabinet level to address the everyday realities that confront the average St. Lucian household. Inflation has never been higher, affecting costs across the economy. Our Prime Minister and the cabinet stood up to inflation. The government contributed, on average, $15 for every £20 LPG cooking gas cylinder you bought. This year, the government spent more than $11 million to subsidize LPG cooking gas cylinders instead of allowing consumers to pay the maximum retail price. How cool is that? The 6% service charge on price-controlled food items is gone. And the government continues to heavily subsidize essential consumables like flour, sugar, and more recently, menstrual products like tampons, sanitary napkins, and pads. Right now, there are several VAT amnesties in effect to save you on costs. The cost of lumber, cement, steel, plywood, galvanized, and solar PV systems are now 12.5% cheaper than it was last year. The importation of select medical equipment will be VAT-free until 2025. This is expected to lower the cost of a host of routine medical exams. And you can look forward to a 100% waiver of all penalties and fines if you settle taxes in full by May 1, 2024. Prime Minister Pierre prioritizes strengthening consumer spending power to beat back inflation. Because of his successful fiscal policy measures, in March 2023, the government was able to pay out $11.5 million in outstanding back pay to public servants. NIC pensioners currently enjoy a 4.2 increase in their monthly pensions. And good news for you contractors, the government will no longer deduct withholding tax from government contracts valued at $10,000 or less. And it gets better. 40 million in tax refunds will have been paid out by March 2024. 10 million is expected to be paid out in December alone. And here's another outstanding achievement. The government was able to settle more than 50% of its outstanding payables. Since March 2021, the government has paid out 80 million to private sector service providers. These policies are literally putting money back in the hands of consumers, businesses, and St. Lucian households. With Prime Minister Pierre at the helm, St. Lucia's economy is on a solid footing. Our economy grew by 18% last year. And the income and economic structure of the economy received a triple B plus rating from Caricris. Investor confidence is at an all-time high since July 2021, the government has facilitated more than $2.5 billion in private sector investments. Now, what does this mean? This means hundreds to thousands of new construction jobs will become available in the coming months and hundreds of new job opportunities are expected to open up in the near term. The Prime Minister has laid the foundation that will give rise to a new generation of indigenous entrepreneurs and a new era of wealth creation in St. Lucia by establishing the Youth Economy Agency, an agency tasked with enhancing the future of our dynamic young entrepreneurs. The MSME Loan Grant Facility is another initiative aimed at entrepreneurship and wealth creation. Hundreds have benefited from these programs, injecting millions of dollars directly into the local economy, empowering business leaders of tomorrow. Our Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Ministers skillfully steered St. Lucia through the challenges of 2023 and set St. Lucia on a course to extend our gains in 2024. The government's timely social programs like Housing Assistance Project, the Public Assistance Program and the Reinstated Distress Fund lend support to the Prime Minister's fiscal policies to ensure we all move forward together. Season's greetings from all of us at the Office of the Prime Minister.